guys are dissecting <laughs> owl pellets. Oh, I love dissecting owl pellets. We're learning about animal adaptations and how you can tell just from the bones of an animal what it's adapted to eat. And so I'm over here and Hannah, it looks like you found all kinds of bones here. It looks like you've got some leg bones. Do you have a skull that you're working on? Yes. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is cool. And if we have the teeth of a mouse, Ashley, could you show me the teeth of, of one of your, oh yes, look at that. That looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? Okay, so what, what do you think these teeth of, of this mouse here, what do you think these teeth are adapted to eat? Bugs. Yeah, mice are insectivores, aren't they? Now let's look at a bigger uh, skull over here. Uh, Rachel, do you have a bigger skull? Okay, so you have a horse skull, and look at the teeth on that horse. Can you describe those teeth? They're, they are flat. They're flat, aren't they? And you nearly, what do you think flat teeth are adapted to eat? Um, eating like grass and vegetables. Grass, okay, yeah. So he's probably, a horse is probably not a meat eater, is he, if he has flat teeth. Fourth graders learning about animal adaptations by dissecting owl pellets. Look at all those teeth that you, look at that. That is awesome. That's pretty sharp, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for eating insects, isn't it? Really cool. How you seen? Looks like you've got a great collection of bones here coming along from your mouse pellet. Mm -hmm. Can you show me how you would match that bone with our uh, skeleton here? Um, I'd say this one is number two. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, check that out. You're right, that is a perfect skull, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's got those sharp teeth in front. What are those sharp teeth made? What do you think those are used for? Probably eating bugs. Eating bugs, yeah, I agree. That is a great skull that you that you uncovered there. Good job. So Jocelyn, I see that you've got a whole set of bones here, and it looks like you're matching to your display. So could you show me how to do that? So you've got a bone here, it looks like. Which one does that look like it matches, Jocelyn? That one. Uh, okay. I agree, it does. It looks, now does that leg bone look larger than this mouse skeleton's leg bone? Yes. So what would you say, what kind of animal do you think that belongs to? A rat. A rat, yeah. Something that looks like a mouse, but maybe just a little bit bigger. And I see some smaller bones over here. These look like they could probably belong to a mouse though. Some of these, so it's possible that this owl maybe ate a mouse or two and a rat because we've got this big leg bone here, don't we? Way to go, Jocelyn.